Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install STP Creator. The first thing to do is to open your browser and go to the Namich website www.namich.com.au and once this window pops up click STP Creator and then Downloads. Click this black download button and if you look in the bottom left hand corner you'll see it's now downloaded and if you're using Chrome you'll you can click on this down button and click show in folder uh, or if you've already closed this downloads list on any browser if you just click control and J that brings up your downloads list and it shows you that we've recently downloaded STP creator from that location and we want to click here show in folder that'll open up our downloads default download location and you'll see STP Creator just here and you can see I've ins downloaded STP Creator set up twice here so I'm just going to double click on this and run you need to have administrator privileges to install STP Creator and the first thing you'll see is this security warning saying the publisher could not be verified are you sure you want to run this just click run STP Creator needs a redistributable Microsoft redistributable installed and if it hasn't been installed on your system you'll be prompted to install it so you must click install although you can't see this on the video I've got a user account control pop-up saying do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer so I'm going to click yes and now you can see it's starting to install on some systems you may get this message saying that the installation of the redistributable appears to have failed do you want to continue now the reason for this is that this system already has a later version of this redistributable installed and it won't allow you to install an earlier version so the thing to do is do you want to continue you click yes okay you can see it starting to do its thing and when you get to this point you've got to click next um, on here you need to read and uh, agree to the license terms click next this is the default location and we would just recommend using that so click next and then install okay again you can't see this but I've got another one of those UAC pop-ups user access or sorry user account control do you want to allow the following program to make changes I just click yes and off she goes installation wizard is completed do you want to launch so I'm just going to tick tick this there'll also be an icon on your desktop for STP creator and you can launch it from there as well so I'm just going to click finish I'm just going to close these screens and as you can see STP Creator is now running and it starts off in demo mode. In the next video I'll show you how to register STP Creator.